hello and assalamu alaikum uh, this is continuation of lecture number 10 and in this part of the lecture i will discuss about the supply challenges and environmental impacts of uh, the renewable energy sources all of the energy sources have uh, some environmental impact on uh, our environment uh, um, and on the natural resources uh, whether they are fossil fuels like coal oil or natural gas uh, basically uh, fossil fuel uh, based uh, resources or energy producing components uh, do substantially more harm uh, as compared to the renewable energy sources by most measure uh, the damages caused by the energy sources include water pollution also uh, damage to the public health, aquatic and wildlife and habitat loss, uh, polluting water, water use, wasteful uh, water, use of landscape and global warming uh, due to uh, emissions of oxides of carbon and nitrogen oxides and monoxides that all contribute towards the factors leading to global warming, warming and other uh, things like acid rains etc however uh, renewable energy sources uh, for example uh, wind energy solar energy thermal energy biomass uh, and hydropower and hydrokinetic uh, these type of energy sources uh, have also have environmental impact uh, which are somewhat uh, significant the exact type of intensity of uh, the environmental impact depends uh, upon the specific uh, technology that is being used uh, to generate the electricity. Also, the geographic location and uh, some other factors uh, might contribute towards uh, the uh, problem that might uh, be faced by the uh, environmental impacts. <clears throat> by un understanding the uh, current and potential environmental issues associated with each energy sources we can uh, take uh, different uh, necessary steps uh, that might be uh, effect uh, effective in avoiding or minimizing the impacts that uh, become larger portion uh, uh, impacts that uh, occur on our environment so environmental impacts of uh, renewable energy sources different uh, energy so, uh, sources uh, have different impacts first of all I will uh, discuss about the wind power har uh, harnessing power from wind is one of the cleanest and most uh, sustainable way to generate electricity as it produces no toxic pollution or global uh, global warming and greenhouse gas emissions wind is also abundant in quantity and it is considered renewable because it is inexhaustible and affordable which means that it makes it uh, viable and large scale alternative to fossil fuel can be provided by wind power. Despite its uh, vast potential, there are a variety of uh, environmental impacts associated with the wind power, uh, wind power generation and should be recognized and mitigated. They uh, also include land use issues and challenges to wildlife uh, habitat. The uh, second one is the uh, solar power like wind power the sun provides a tremendous uh, resources of generating clean and sustainable uh, electric energy the environmental impacts associated with the use of solar power can include the land use and habitat loss uh, water use and the use of hazardous material that is being used in manufacturing the photovoltaic cell and uh, through the uh, types of impacts uh, the, uh, uh, 
uh, very greatly depending upon the scale and the technology used uh, to produce the uh, solar systems also heat energy is uh, dissipated a lot of the heat energy is dissipated while the production of photovoltaic uh, system the next one is the uh, geothermal energy geothermal uh, uh, energy it is uh, considered to be the most widely spread type of geothermal uh, uh, the most widely uh, developed type of uh, Geothermal power plant uh, is uh, also known as the hydrothermal plants or uh, have to be lo located near uh, geologically uh, spaces where, uh, where the earth crust is uh, relatively hot uh, uh, from a molten rock uh, that is produce, uh, produced uh, as a volcanic reaction near volcanic uh, reaction and the earth uh, crust is producing hot water in other regions enhanced geothermal systems or hot dry rock geothermal uh, uh, solar uh, geothermal systems involve drilling through, uh, through the earth's surface to reach uh, deeper geothermal resources can allow broader access to geothermal energy geothermal energy uh, power plants uh, also differ in terms of technology that is being used basically to uh, convert the resources of uh, a uh, resource of the heat energy basically it is steam energy heat energy uh, to uh, ele uh, electricity the the, uh, the types of uh, uh, technologies uh, which have been previously discussed include uh, direct steam method flash steam method or binary cycle uh, uh, power plants and the type of cooling technology they use water uh, water cooled and air cooled it depends upon the te uh, technology that is being used in the uh, uh, geothermal energy power plant uh, that uh, basically defines the uh, impact on our environment the next one is uh, the use of uh, biomass uh, energy for electricity uh, the biomass power plants uh, uh, are uh, share some of the similarities uh, considering uh, that they are used to uh, uh, they are used to produce heat energy by burning so it is considered that they have some similarities with the fossil fuel based uh, power plants as both involve the combustion of the feedstock to generate electricity thus biomass uh, uh, power plants uh, are uh, uh, somehow uh, raise uh, similar but not identical concern about the environmental emissions and the water use as fossil fuel uh, plants however the feedstock for biomass plant can be sustainably produced uh, while uh, fossil fuels are uh, non-renewable form of uh, uh, energy resources sources of bio, uh, ma, uh, biomass uh, produce uh, electricity uh, uh, ranging from energy crops like uh, uh, switch grass to agricultural waste uh, manure forest produced and waste or uh, uh, that is produced by the urban areas uh, both uh, the type of feedstock and the manner in which it is developed and harvested significantly affect the land use and the life cycle uh, global warming emission impacts pro uh, of producing uh, power from uh, biomass the next one is the hydroelectric uh, power plant uh, hydroelectric uh, power uh, includes uh, massive dams and small uh, run on the river uh, hydro uh, plants that basically use a uh, force that is formed in the form of kinetic energy in the water and we use this kin uh, kinetic energy to move the uh, turbines large scale hydroelectric dams continue to be built in many parts of the world um, but it is unlikely uh, that the new facilities will be added uh, 
uh, in uh, future because uh, make, making uh, dams uh, is uh, quite uh, costly for the governments so uh, in us instead of future hydroelectric uh, power in uh, will they will likely involve increasing capacity of uh, at the current dams that are already built and the new runoff river uh, projects uh, uh, there are uh, environmental uh, impacts uh, in both uh, uh, types of dams for instance uh, the uh, uh, man made uh, dam uh, if it is ma uh, made uh, somewhere uh, in the residential areas uh, have to be it has to be evacuated moreover the where uh, the man made dams are built the water level and the ecosystem of uh, that particular area is significantly uh, disturbed the last one is the hydro kinetic energy that is basically used uh, to uh, harvest energy from waves and tides uh, it is also known as wave and tidal power and encompasses an array of uh, energy technologies many of which still uh, are in the experimental stages this uh, actual impacts of a la uh, large scale operation have uh, not been observed and uh, 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 related to the hydrokinetic uh, energy but it is uh, thought that a range of potential impacts can be projected despite these environmental impacts uh, uh, the renewable uh, energy sources are favorable extremely favorable as compared to the fo uh, fossil fuel based energy sources and remain a core part uh, of the solution to the global warming and climatic changes